Louisiana Beer Reviews, Pabst Blue Ribbon Beer, introduced in 1844. The Pabst Brewing Company is currently owned by the uh, uh, Metropolis family. This beer is 4.7% alcohol. Gets an average rating on Beer Advocate. The bros give it a good rating. It gets a 2 out of 100 on Rate Beer and a 19 out of 100 for the style. And it gets an average rating on the Beer and Me. Well, I've had this many times, of course. This beer was about to be knocked out of existence around 2001. Just wasn't selling. It, it had gone from being in the late 1950s the number one beer in in the United States, and then it was passed by passed up by Anheuser Busch and Schlitz. But it was still very strong, a strong seller into the 80s, and then in the 80s it started to erode. By the 90s, it was really on the skids and uh, had been relegated from the premium price category to the budget beer. And uh, it may have ended up like uh, Falstaff, for instance, that is gone. Another beer that was once prominent. Then uh, a lot of college students or so called hipsters started to drink it because it was very inexpensive. and. and Still in New Orleans, you can get it like uh, on draft for two dollars a big imperial pint. I remember I was in Denver, Colorado in 1999, and they I was waiting for the bus, uh, and there was some old dive bar by the Greyhound station, and um, they had big old draft, it looked bigger than a pint to me for a dollar a piece, and I drank two of those big things and. I stumbled back to the to the bus station, but it, it was like a bum place. But uh, the beer was just so delicious on draft and ice cold. Today now, Paps has gone up in price. It's back at the premium price level. Um, the company is being revital, revitalized by the Metropolis family. Uh, Paps went around buying up a lot of struggling brewing companies like uh, Schaefer. Strohs, Schlitz, Heilemann, and today it seemed to be having some what of a comeback. But when I was in high school and college, this was the I used to think it was just an old brand that your great uncle or your grandpa would ask for if you came to visit, and it was sort of like the uh, like the Plymouth Grand Fury of beers, reliable but dull and dying. But the Plymouth Grand Fury is gone and so is the entire Plymouth motor car division. But Paps Blue Ribbon is still going strong and seem seemingly getting stronger. Because starting this year, 2012, they've, they've become the sponsor of the Professional Bull Riders Association. Uh, pool. Yeah, professional bull riders uh, circuit. Well, let's see what this 24 ounce can has to offer. And I have it in a Paps Blue Ribbon goblet. I have a few of these PBR goblets. And I uh, bought this cap online from Paps. And then I told the company a few years ago that I really like their beer and I tried to get other people to drink it and they sent me this t-shirt <laughs> which I thought was nice and plus a bunch of other pap stuff all right let's go with the uh, aroma didn't get much of a head but you don't usually get a big head on these wide brim goblets or as we call them around here schooners it's got a very sweet grain typical beer aroma really The taste is very um, sweet, grain oriented. Um, do pick up that corn, corn syrup, which is what they use according to their old website. I noticed they have a reformulated, re 
constructed website doesn't go so much into the ingredients. Uh, got the hop ep ac extract. Uh, the body is very light and watery. Your finish is crisp, clean, refreshing, dry. You have an underlying sweet flavor. Really, overall, though, it just tastes like good, solid American style lager. People I know don't like this style. Some people don't. Uh, millions do. Um, I certainly do. I always have. If you've never tried Pabst Blue Ribbon, I think you ought to give it a, a chance. You're going to see it in all different type of bottle offerings and can sizes, and you're going to see it on draft at a quite, a, quite a few places. This goes very well with fried seafood as, um, as something to compare it with um, or pair it with. Yeah, fried seafood or a good sandwich. So. Les Les Bon Temps Relay, this is a very good beer, and I would give it I'm gonna give it a B plus. I'm tempted to say excellent, but I'm gonna go with a B plus. It's very good. I've always enjoyed it and it's nice very nice so Pabst Blue Ribbon what do you have I'll have a Pabst Blue Ribbon I'm gonna drink the rest of this um, big can and I'm gonna enjoy it I'll tell you that right now so I'm gonna end this review by saying y'all come on down to New Orleans